What's up guys, Ruski Tech here, and welcome back to another tech review. I make tech reviews weekly, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I drop a new video. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use your PS4 controller on your PC. The other day, I had one of my good friends and people I play games with try to connect his PS4 controller to his PC, but he had troubles with it because he didn't know about DS4 Windows. I told him to install it, and it worked out perfectly. DS4 Windows is an application that practically emulates your PS4 controller as an Xbox controller on your PC. Okay, here we are on the site to download DS4 Windows. A link will be in the description below if you would like to download this also and follow along with the video. So the site's really easy to use, all you have to do is click download now and it'll send you to a GitHub page where you will click on this DS4 Windows.zip file right here and it will automatically download it. Depending on which browser you use, the download will appear differently, but I'm using Chrome and it'll appear in the bottom left right here. So if you go to your downloads folder, you'll see that the folder came up with DS4 Windows. All you have to do is right click on it, extract all, and it'll, show, it'll bring you right to the extracted file. Once you have the extracted file, all you have to do is click on the DS4 Windows right here, ignore the DS4 updater, as that won't be used to install the application, and click on DS4 Windows. Once you click on DS4 Windows, it'll ask you where you want to install the settings and profiles to be saved. I'll just put them in app data just for easy use right here. And once you do that, it's all installed. Sometimes computers don't have the right driver set up, so all I have to do is go to your settings up here in the top, go to controller driver setup, and a pop-up will come up to install the DS4 drivers. So once you install the DS4 drivers, it'll take 10 to 15 minutes for it to install, and it might require you to restart your computer, but the multiple times that I've installed this, it has not required to do so. So once it's installed and you're finished, you can either con connect your PS4 controller with a wired USB, or you can also connect your PS4 controller via Bluetooth if your PC is compatible with it. So once you're finished you and go to controllers, all you have to do is plug in your PS4 controller and it should pop up with a profile. Once it popped up with a profile, it lets you know the battery life. You can also choose the profile that you want to use. I have it default right now because I don't really have anything. And then you can also change the color of your light bar that's on the PS4 controller. It's super, super easy to use. And if you really, really want to get into it and start playing around with it, you can go into profiles and edit a new profile. It looks scary at first, but honestly, it's super easy to use and all you have to do is just start playing around and get comfortable with it. So in this area, you can change your sensitivity, you can set your dead zones with your controllers. You can also start assigning different binds to different buttons and you can also change the light bar color. So if I wanted it to be a little bit teal with a little bit of green and blue mostly, then you can change it to that. If you wanted it pure purple, then you can have red and blue or you can have it just a little bit darker. You can just play around with it and customize it the way you want it. You can also set it to flash, you can set it to while charging, pulse, rainbow color. You can change so many things in this application and it's awesome because it lets you customize your PS4 controller the way you didn't even know you could. Every time you have DS4 Windows running and you plug in your controller, it'll automatically get connected and select the profile. If you want to disconnect your PS4 controller but you still want DS4 Windows running, you can click in the bottom right here, stop, and it'll automatically disconnect it. If you still have your controller connected and you just want to reconnect it, click start and it's pretty much just a small small restart. It's that easy and it's super simple. A lot of people don't know about DS4 Windows and honestly it saved my life when I wanted to play games with my PS4 controller. If you have any trouble or issues with the installation, definitely comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Everything you need in this video will be down in the description below just in case you wanted to follow along. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.